It's 10 days to the Paris 2024 Olympics and for Team Nigeria, the preparation continues with most Nigerian athletes now outside the country stepping up their preparations. And I can tell you, when it comes to the Paris 2024 Olympic Games, Team Nigeria athletes aren't playing. And you can take that to the bank. <laughs> Hello there and welcome. There is a sports role on the network service of the Nigerian Television Authority, Embadi Adeleye. As always, we're reaching you from the ever beautiful Moshuda Biola National Stadium here in Abuja. And on the rail today, we've got loads to talk about, especially the preparation of Team Nigeria for the Paris 2024 Olympics. And of course, we'll give you a special focus on the Super Falcons of Nigeria on their show, which is the Super Falcons show. We'll also update you when it comes to the just concluded Euro 2024 and Copa America 2024. We had both finals last Sunday. And of course, we'll give you update in the world of sports from other sports that you need to know. So anytime we come to you, you know it's always a loaded package. And of course, today's edition will be no different. Many thanks for joining us once again. All right, let's begin the show with a countdown when it comes to the Paris 2024 Olympics. Just 10 days away, and of course on the show today, our focus will be on all the sports Nigeria will be participating in when it comes to the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. 11 for you, and of course that includes football, uh, basketball, swimming, taekwondo, uh, wrestling, boxing, and athletics, you can name it all. I do not forget that badminton is also there. So, and if you're not used to that, we'll show you some of the athletes who will be competing in individual sports uh, for Nigeria. While we'll also get to, you know, listen to some of the representatives of some federations, you know, let's hear them talk about their preparations for the games. And of course, we would like to take some views of some sports journalists. Let's take that now. believe that a lot of our athletes will be able to do well and we are working well to make sure that things go exactly like that. Not just Ole Tobi and it's a Brune, but we believe that we have one of the best relay teams now, especially our athletes hitting form at the right time. One thing that is good for us is that our athletes are achieving this, started achieving standard from April, May. They did not achieve standard in January or last year and they will have lost form now. So they are hitting standard at the right time. So we chose that we are ready. We believe that so many members of our teams, our team will hit uh, medals in Paris, especially the 4x4 men's team, the mixed relay, and even the 4x1 women's team, not writing a, 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 out the 4x1 men's team. We have a very good team. In the 4x1 women, apart from America, I don't think there's any team that will be able to uh, place four good runners the way we have in our team now. So we are very optimistic that medals will come, not only from the women's team but from the men's team. You will see that every relay that the women has qualified for, the men has qualified for too, this time around. 
So the men have stepped up from how performances have been from last time. So we believe that it will be a very good Olympics for us. The Nigeria Wrestling Federation is a very serious federation. The athletes are prepared adequately, in my view. Um, they will be going there uh, not to participate, but to compete. And you know, when somebody competes, it's for medals. And we're hoping that uh, if we compete very well, that medals will come. For us as a country, precisely talking about Nigeria, being the giant of Africa, it is always our desire not to only be part of the Olympic, uh, part of the countries that are participating in the Olympics, but to also be at the podium. We are trusting God at this time around. There's going to change the tide. Uh, Nigeria will be mentioned among the winning countries, and that's our desire. So it's actually very important to us as a country because we want to showcase our talents one more time. Interesting, and we cannot wait for the Paris 2024 Olympics, just 10 days away. Come on, bring it on. All right, let's now focus on the Super Falcons of Nigeria, who are stepping up their preparations for their campaign in the women's football event of the Paris 2024 Olympics. And if you know the drill, it is time for the MTN Super Falcons show for today. Take it away. celebrating the 100th episode of the MTN Super Falcons show and this is what we will be doing all through the month of July. We want to say thank you, thank you so much and express our gratitude to you, our lovely viewers, for being a part of the show from the very inception up until this moment. And there is so much that we have planned for you here on the Super Falcons show as we follow the Super Falcons through the process as they get ready the pre party 2024 Olympics camp in Seville, Spain. My name is Osereme in Negbenebo and allow me to officially welcome you aboard the MTN Super Falcon Show. And as I like to say, this is your one-stop shop for all things Super Falcons from both off the pitch and on the pitch. Now, we're still putting together celebrations into the century episode of the MTN Super Falcon Show and we are not stopping. Now, we want to take a dip into past episodes and see some of the actions that have made our Super Falcons give so much excitement, especially on social media platforms. But first off, we go on this really short break and I will see you when we get back. Wait, wait, I'll be start. <laughs> <laughs>
Is your MTN line blocked? Simply link your NIN to your line to unbuy it. Visit an MTN office close to you today. But if you don't have your NIN yet, hurry to the nearest NIMC office to get your NIN. For more information, visit nin.mtn.ng. MTN. What are we doing today? Do you still remember the bottle water challenge? I'm sure you do. Well, I think I did a couple and I was able to win just like when they gift right there. I remember this video. It was one of the trending videos, the most trending videos ever of the Super Falcons. Well, if you would like to win too, as you can see, there was a lot of money involved there. I cannot say if it's money or not. But if you would like to win freebies, courtesy MTN, get into our social media and get active. The handles are at MTNNG on Instagram and X, that's formerly Twitter, MTN Nigeria on Facebook and YouTube, and of course our very own pages across all social media platforms, Super Falcon Show. Because week in, week out, we're giving freebies. You never know the week we're going to give Monday. So you want to be active and follow us across all social media platforms. Now, it's less than two weeks to the biggest multi-sports event in the world and our Super Falcons are really shaping up for the massive challenge. Captain Rashida Tajibade has been speaking with us on the wonderful season she had at Atletico Madrid, even being voted the best player and the Paris 2024 Olympics as well. Now, here is what she had to say. Yeah, the best player of Atletico Madrid uh, for this season did not come to me as a surprise. Of course, it's been, it's been uh, at least two or three years of consistent hard work, consistent, you know, uh, commitment, discipline and everything. So, of course, uh, yeah, for the Olympics, my expectations is, yeah, uh, my expectations are, are just that we want to be, we want to make sure that, yeah, we we put up our best at the tournament and uh, you know want to be better than what we were in the last world cup we want to make sure that we keep uh, the standard high and um, yeah we want to make sure that uh so uh we're able to compete we're able to compete to a maximum level and also get the desired result that we want uh yeah we just don't want to go participate of course we want to also compete you know to a better level in that we just want to go there show our talent show what we know we can do if we put in the hard work and everything uh we believe uh we come out um um but the best result yeah just please keep supporting us keep you know um keep praying for us keep cheering us up every games every you know before the game after the game just keep supporting us keep praying for us <laughs> I'm really excited for our Super Falcons, and I know they are going to do amazingly well. As you can see, they're putting in the work, they're training in Spain. I see a couple of the girls that we know there. I'm seeing Michelle Alozi. Our girls are putting in the work, and I know it's going to be fantastic, and we're going to get all the way to the finals and bring home the medal and trophy. Now, I'll have you know that our Super Falcons will open their campaign in Group C on July the 25th against Brazil at the Burkdo Stadium at 7 p.m. And then meet world champion Spain on July the 28th at the La Beuge Stadium at 7 p.m. On July the 31st, they will clash with Japan at the same stadium and then we'll get to know the remaining games as they unfold. Because like I said, we're going all the way to the finals. But just so that you don't miss this information and you get it as a day hot, go to our social media platforms and share some word with us, follow us and also see the information as they drop. A hearty congratulations to Jennifer Echegene on her move from Juventus to PSG. What a warm welcome. Imagine the man who was so great that he was named twice. Welcome you to a club. I mean, ah, which day? Which day, Use? Which day? No, Wahala. Anyways, congratulations, girl. We are rooting for you all day, every day.
Now, our 100th episode of the show celebration is still very much on. Connect with us, like I have been saying, on social media to get all of the exciting clips, all of the exciting videos that we have for you. And on that note, it's a wrap for this episode, our 101 episode. <laughs> I love the sound of that. It's a wrap for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Osera Me in Nekbenebo. Thank you to the guys making things happen behind the scenes. My producer, Tayo Gunshaye, and of course, Bode Olutu, and uh, the very amazing Big Jimmy. I will see you guys in the very next episode, but remember not to forget that this show airs 9 a.m. every Tuesday on NTA, and in case you miss it, you can catch it on MTN's Ayuba app. From myself and all of us here in the studio, it's bye for now. You're still watching Sports Real on the network service of the Nigerian Television Authority. Let's now move to Europe and talk about the just concluded Euro 2024. Just like the prediction of many, Spain are the new champions of Europe. And of course, how did they get it done? Quite simple, they overcame the three Lions of England 2-1 in Sunday's final in Berlin. And of course, that didn't come easy. The first half was goalless and obviously uh, the second half started with Nico Williams getting Spain the lead and that came just in the second minute. Colombia who have really been the outstanding team of the tournament and of course in the third place. It's over! Triple crown secured, legacy cemented, Argentina win the Copa America again! And they used every bit of their roster and they will celebrate this as a collective. They will celebrate this as a country. Third consecutive time they come to a tournament and win it. Argentina, champions of the Copa America. Okay, it's the sports we're coming to you on the network service of the Nigerian Television Authority. You know sports reel is never complete if Lewis. Francisca Bile is standing by to update us with sports tidbits. Let's begin with football as future guaranteed FC have emerged winners of the Maiden Rising Star Football League in Abuja. After playing one all draw with Delhi Fresh FC on the final day of the league, decided Sunday at the Buari Township Stadium. The team garnered 52 points from 22 matches played in the league to secure the top spots. We are trying to take grassroots and package it in a way that it looks as good as whatever they are doing, we believe we can do it. I think it's a thing of the brain and I'm also encouraging others, you understand, to come in and support grassroots football. Meanwhile, the Nigeria Football Federation NFF has engaged 30 female coaches in CAF C licensed coaching course, which will last for two months. The training is expected to broaden their skills and open new opportunities for female coaches in Nigeria. To see that uh, we bring the desired change that we, 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 we are looking for in Nigerian football. There's no way we can succeed without having qualified coaches. Whatever we're doing, if we don't have qualified coaches to, to take on our young girls and boys, we are deceiving ourselves. I expect it to be holistic in order to make sure that we coaches are empowered to go back to the grassroots or wherever we are to do justice to developing more football players, especially women, for Nigeria. To table tennis, Nigeria's Aruna Kodri is expected to be drawn by in the first round of the main singles event of the Paris 2024 Olympic Games alongside Egypt's Omar Asa. Aruna, who made history as the first African to reach the quarterfinals of the table tennis event at the Rio Olympic Games in 2016, currently holds the 19th world ranking, while Asa, who is the second African to reach the quarterfinals, is rated 22nd in the world. The official seedings for the Games will be based on the July 16 ITTF world rankings. Finally, the RNA has announced that the winner of the 152nd Open Championship will receive a record $3.1 million in prize money. 
The first prize is $100,000 more than Brain Harman received for being Crown Champion Golfer of the Year at Royal Liverpool last July, while the runner-up this year in Holic will earn $1.76 million. The RNA also announced that the total prize fund for the 2024 contest at Royal Troon has also increased by $500,000 to $17 million. With Sports Tidbits, Francis Kabile, NT News. Many thanks, Francisca, and of course, we cannot wait to see who's going to emerge the winner of the Open. It's always an interesting tournament. And of course, with that, we've come to the end of the show today. As always, I want to thank you for hanging out with us. And do not forget that NT Sports 24 is there for you on Star Times and Free TV to access unlimited sports broadcasting. Until next time, I'll be on the show. Just like I always tell you, be yourself and always stay out of trouble. I'm Bade Adelaide, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>